hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i'm going to explain you the process of mass updating the campaign member status via the salesforce data loader tool and before that i would like to introduce our newly launched salesforce administrator course that you can access from the description link of this video so let me show you the course first this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early words so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this code you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our topic so in salesforce campaigns there is a feature of a campaign member status and the status field in the campaign member object show the current status of the user response to the campaign so by default we are having three pick list value in the status field that are that are responded received and sent so these three values show the response of the user for the specific campaigns and with the help of data loader we can mass update the campaign member status and we can only update the values of campaign member status that are available in the status field so let's move ahead and see the process so right now i'm on the setup page of my salesforce console and first i would like to show you the campaign in which i am going to in which i am going to update the campaign member status so i will navigate to the campaigns tab and in the campaigns tab this is the campaign in which we are going to update the status of campaign members so in the campaign record go to the section campaign members and in the status column you can see the response of the campaign members so we are going to update the status of these campaign members so we are going to perform the mass update of the campaign member status with the help of data loader so now we'll open the data loader tool so now i have opened my data loader tool and first we will run an export operation and in that export operation we will export the data of campaign members and the data will be extracted in a csv file and in that csv file we will update the status of the campaign members so now we will run a data export to get the data of the campaign member status and now i will click on this export button and after this i will log in with my credentials and in this step activate the checkbox show all salesforce object and then search and select the campaign member and then select the location for the extract file in which the data of campaign members will be extracted and after this click on the next button and in this step we have to select the query fields that we want to extract in the csv file so we need the ID, campaign id id of the campaign members and the status field so we have selected the field campaign id id of the campaign members and the status but in our org we have multiple campaigns and within those multiple campaigns we have we have a multiple campaign members also so if we run this export with this query fields then it will extract all the campaign members present in the org so what we will do we will apply a condition filter that so we will apply a condition filter that if the campaign id will be of that if a campaign id will be of a specific campaign then it will export the data of the campaign members so i have entered the field as campaign id and in the value field i have entered the id of the and after this i will click on the button add condition so after applying this condition the export will run on this specific campaign id only and at last click on this finish button so here we can see these are the six records that we have extracted in a csv file and now click on this button open in external program to open this to view this data in the csv file and for the reference we could have also selected the name field in the query fields and now what we will do that from the status column we will change the status so after changing the status of the campaign members i will save this csv file from where it can be accessed to the data loader so now we will again open the data loader and this time we will run a data update operation so in the data loader tool click on this update button and then again select this checkbox show all salesforce object and then search and select campaign members and after this browse the csv file that we have created right now and after this click on the next button 
and as we click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file that we have uploaded and it will display the number of rows in the csv file here click on the ok button to proceed and now we have to do the mapping between the object field columns and the csv header columns so for that click on the button create or edit a map and in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto matched field to columns so now we have mapped the column header with the object field names and after mapping click on this ok button and in this window click next and in this step select the location for the error and success file that will occur during the data operation and at last click on the finish button and as we click on the finish button this warning message will appear on the screen regarding the data update operation here click on the yes button to proceed so now the data operation will start we will see a message in the dialog box and here this message is displaying the operation is fully completed and there are six successful updates with zero errors that means the update was successful and you can also uh, view the status of the updated record and here you can see the status as item updated so at last we will click on the ok button to close the data loader wizard so this is the campaign record in which we are updating the status of the campaign members so as of now the status of the campaign members is updated and now we will refresh this button to see the changes and here we will again scroll down to the section campaign members and here as you can see the status of the campaign members is changed to sent from the responded so this is how we can mass update the campaign member status with the help of data loader tool in salesforce and i hope that you like this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye